Hi there. So every year as the school year comes to an end, we all start thinking of the beach and swimming in the nice cool water. So today I'm going to show you how you can make a picture of yourself going snorkeling and swimming among the fishes. As you can see, this picture is not just a drawing, it's a collage. And that's how I am able to make this fish look like it's swimming right in front of our diver. So we're gonna do this in two parts. And here's what we're gonna need for materials. You're going to need two pieces of paper. A watercolor paper is great if you have it because it really makes the background lovely. A plain piece of white paper. I'm gonna use a tracer so I can get my head nice and big. A planning pencil. A Sharpie for outlining. And then I need something for color. Markers. You can use color sticks. I love the color sticks because it has so many skin colors. And if you're at school, I will share those with you. I also need some scissors to cut out my diver, glue to glue my diver on. And for the background, I need watercolor paints. You can have regular watercolors like these. I love the liquid watercolors because the color is so rich and so watery and it makes a great sea kind of a color. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is the background. I'm using my watercolor paper, really smart to write your name on it, down in the corner. Then, before you do anything else, you're gonna get your paper wet. And I just realized one thing I didn't tell you we need is some salt. That's what makes this wonderful effect in the background. So I am getting my paper wet first. That makes the, my colors really spread and blend and it gives it a real watery effect. So get your paper wet. And once your paper's wet, you can dab on your color. I'm gonna start with the blue. Notice how it spreads. That's because the paper is wet. And this will go quickly. Just dab and spread. Maybe dab in a little green. Okay, once I have my paper covered, and remember, it's dabbing strokes, moving quickly. You don't want to do too much in one area, or it breaks down your paper and it doesn't look nice. I take just a little bit of salt, and I sprinkle that from high up. And don't overdo it. Many people say, oh, it's not working, and they throw on more. This part doesn't happen until it starts to dry. Already a little something is happening. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it aside to dry while I work on the next part of my Okay, picture. so I've done my background and now I'm going to draw my diver. And I'm going to suggest you start this with a planning pencil. Or like me, you might make a mistake here and then you have trouble with the snorkel. I'm going to do mine with the marker so you can see it on the video, but I actually did a little planning. I traced around my circle. I had to remember to put my oval. I did an oval face and figured out where the eyes are gonna go, where the nose is gonna go. I had to remember that my mouth was a circle with a snorkel in it. A snorkel goes over this line and then I erase the line. So now I'm gonna show you in marker. I've got my oval, which I traced earlier. I'm going to do the hop over trick with the snorkel right here. Okay. I'm going to, here's my oval. Here's my hair. And I did a girl on the last one, so this one will probably be a boy. My eyes are about in the middle of my face. Remember, good idea to do this in pencil first. My nose goes like that and I see my nose from the front, so I'm gonna draw it like that. Now for my snorkel, it goes like this and up to the top. That's why I needed to leave a little gap there. And that's why if you do it with a pencil, you'll remember it. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. The neck, the neck is often wider than we really remember. It's gonna go out like that. And I can have my guy just wearing swimming trunks or maybe he's gonna be wearing a wetsuit. Maybe he's in Maine where the water's really cold and he's got a bit of a wetsuit. I'm gonna put some lines here. And something's missing. 
Where are his swimming goggles? I will have to put his mask on like this. And I make it big. I might even do a second line so I can give it a little bit of color. Okay, once I have my diver, it's time to color it in. And that's your choice. If you use color sticks, again, you have a choice of skin color, which is nice. Or you can use markers. Remember to color in nicely. Take your time to do a good job. You might want to do some color blending. You might even like to use two kinds of things, maybe colored sticks and colored pencils. Maybe you would also like to use some markers. You, you can decide. When you're all done, you're gonna cut out your diver to put over there, but you're also gonna need some fish. And again, you wanna do them on a separate piece of paper so that you can cut them out and place them maybe in front of your diver, maybe behind. What's gonna make it look interesting? So don't forget, I'm gonna put some fish this way because I've got a nice space that I'm gonna cut out later to do fish, divers, wonderful coloring, and I'll meet you back here so we can finish up our collage. So I've taken the time to color in my diver and my fish. I've used color sticks for the face and the hair. I've used markers here. And it's really up to you to decide what material you like the best. I'm going to do another little trick. It's kind of a flip up trick. I'm taking the extra water off this brush. I have some clean water. And I am going to blend out my markers a little bit. You can decide if you like that idea or not. Once you're all done, you're going to take and cut out your diver. And I have to finish putting, coloring this in. When you do this part, if you kind of put a curve on it, it'll make your snorkel look more rounded like a tube. So the next step is to cut out your shapes. And the smart thing to do is to fish, make them a little smaller so it's easier to cut out, then cut out and leave that black line because that black line is gonna bring your diver up and away from the background so it'll really show up. So, I've, so I've cut complete. out my diver and my fish shapes and it's time to glue together my collage. Now, remember, when you're cutting out, please cut close to the edges and really do a nice job with cutting. If you do something like this and just are in a hurry, it really doesn't look good when you go to put it together. So take your time to do that well. When you're done, you're going to arrange these on the paper in a way that makes it interesting. And again, that's what I love about collage is you can try things different ways before you glue them down. That's much better. Do you want your fish looking like they're swimming behind your diver? Do you want your fish in front? So figure that out. Once you like your arrangement, glue it down and you will have a completed piece of work. Again, remember when you glue things, you always use the back of the thing you're gluing if you try to put a bunch of glue on the background, it never looks good. Make sure you get that snorkel covered. Put it down, and it might want to curl. You notice that I didn't try to glue it on this background until my background was dry. I actually took a little break, went off and did some other artwork, and when it was dry, I came back to glue it together. So again, look at the difference. Is it behind? Where does it show up? think, oh, it's so hard to decide. I think I'll put this guy swimming in front here. Again, rub it down. Really make sure it's going to stick and your background has to be dry or it won't stick very well. More glue. Up here, behind, you decide. Don't forget to sign your work. And when you're all done, don't forget to go to Add Response and take a picture for me. I can't wait to see your work.